Good evening, folks. What's going on there? It is the Earthmaster here with an update video on this Wednesday evening, November 3rd, 2021, about 7.15 p.m. California time. The latest quake uh, out there on the USGS map was a 3.2 earthquake. Since been an hour since that uh, 3.2 struck around the Stanley, Idaho area. We have been seeing quite a bit of increase along the North American Pacific Plate boundary inland as well as next to the plate boundary itself with a 4.1 striking earlier into northern california into the coastal ranges of uh, near covalo about 6.5 kilometers below the surface for this 4.1 that struck in the coastal range this is kind of a little series of earthquakes that are taking place uh, into northern california area including some subduction zone earthquakes that we seen last night we'll pull up the seven days all met or seven days 2.5 and above We've seen some movement in the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, 4.4 that struck, and a 3.4, about 29 and 27 kilometers into the subduction zone of the Cascadia uh, area. Looking at the uh, all magnitudes here, you can see some further activity within this region, but below the 2.5 threshold, but nonetheless still seeing some deeper activity indicating that subduction zone earthquakes, including a 2.3 at 27 kilometers. Uh, definitely down dip downstream here of the locked area of the Cascadia. We have been looking at some uh, activity definitely ramping up there into the southern end. Also looking at the trimmer activity in the Cascadia shows us continued movement into the southern end of the Cascadia. This is the trimmer activity. These are not uh, necessarily earthquakes or jolts in the uh, subduction zone, but uh, more or less like vibrations, if you will, um, tremors into the down dip area of the Cascadia, about 35 kilometers below the surface. This activity roughly uh, mostly into Oregon, but it is contributing to all the activity that we're seeing in the uh, areas down here to the south in the Northern California, a little bit further south into the Cascadia subduction zone here, uh, playing, a, playing a large part, large part uh, in activity that we're seeing today. This is, uh, what do we got here for magnitudes, or at least uh, epicenters, 339 epicenters today alone into this area of the Cascadia subduction zone. So we're kind of watching the activity along the west coast uh, pretty uh, pretty closely. Uh, up and down the state, we're seeing a, a lot of movement, uh, not only into northern California, but throughout the Sierra Nevadas, also down around the southern California area as well. Uh, south of the border, we're talking just we don't even need borders here, but along the plate boundaries out here, the Gulf of California, we've seen a pair of fours kicking off here, relatively shallow, uh, 4.5 and a 4.3 earlier today. This is all just uh, general activity along the North American Pacific plate boundary here, showing uh, quite a bit of pressure increase in this region. Also in the Pacific Northwest, we've seen some uh, heightened earthquake activity around the volcanoes and Mount Rainier. And also Mount St. Helens here having a few small microquakes around the area. Some movement up here outside of Seattle as well, including a fairly deep 1.3 magnitude earthquake at 25 kilometers. Pretty deep uh, movement there near, uh, looks like Maple Valley, Washington region. Sawtooth Fault System seeing an increase in activity as well. Uh, right there at the uh, Idaho region, some Intermountain West earthquakes down through Utah. No swarming in Southern California at the moment, but we are seeing a noticeable increase inland into the North American plate around the Pecos, Texas area. Uh, never fails whenever we see heightened earthquake activity in the uh, western part of the country. Pecos, Texas, Texas area starts rocking and rolling out here. And there's no doubt that's continuing today with a f uh, quite a few twos kicking off around the Pecos, Texas area. South of there as well and one out near Midland, Texas. Oklahoma and Kansas getting in on some activity as well including some movement around the New Madrid area, north of Little Rock, Arkansas, 2.1 at 7.8 kilometers. Uh, so watching the West Coast very, very closely here, folks. Just things are really lighting up like crazy over the last 24 hours. Uh, pretty obvious sign of some increased pressure out there in the West Coast. Japan did see some further movement earlier today, 4.6 at 48 kilometers. Also fairly deep movement near the uh, China Sea, East China Sea, 4.5. 186 kilometers for that earthquake. General movement along the Fiji area and the Vanuatu area 
on the increase as well. If you notice on the map here, we lost all the swarming around the Indonesia area that we seen yesterday. Uh, since then, that uh, has kind of calmed down and looking at further deep movement over here, uh, back building uh, south of the Fiji along the uh, Kermadec Trench area, Tonga Trench region. South America did see a 5.7 earthquake near the Chile area, Los, Ange Los Andes, Chile, 5.7, 110 kilometers down dip of the subduction zone here along the Peru-Chile Trench. Since then, we have not seen any further movement. Little activity out here around the Mediterranean Sea with a 4.3 in the Greece area, 35 kilometers. Looking at the Yellowstone thumbnails here, pretty quiet. No major quakes to report. There's the earthquake activity striking around the Idaho area, shown up on the Yellowstone maps. Looking at solar weather, things kind of ramping up from an M flare that kicked up here. We're looking at a potential G3 storm. We're looking at a strong G3 storm warning with KP indexes ramping up around the 7 currently. That's uh, pretty, uh, pretty strong. You can see the Aurora Borealis there kicking up pretty nicely. Could see this dip down into some of these northern states here tonight. Geomagnetic K index of 7. The threshold was reached earlier. There is an active warning currently and a G3 storm, is, uh, storm warning is in effect. So we will be keeping an eye on that. That was from the 1. Point, uh, I believe the M1.7 that kicked off. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Looks like things will mellow down after uh, after tonight. But there is a 45% chance middle latitudes. We'll see this as well. 50% uh, chance C flare, M flare, 10%. And uh, X flare dwindling down as we see sunspot activity kind of facing away from Earth and dying out a little bit on the Earth side of the sun. All right, folks, have a good night out there. Live stream is coming up here soon. It did go down. Computer reset automatically by itself for some oddball reason again. But uh, we'll get it going. We will get this thing going eventually. Have a good night, folks. We, chat you, we will chat at you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.